It's time, 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 time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. All right, well, Ava DuVernay's Array company has pulled out of their Spotify first look deal. And so they actually had unveiled their multi-year agreement. They were going to promote inclusive storytelling and produce exclusive scripted and unscripted series. That deal was announced back in January of 2021. And now they are pulling out of that deal. So... Yeah, from what I hear from people who have production companies over there, it's just very hard to get things done. A lot of red tape you have to go through. Like, way many, way too many people got to sign off, and, you know, no creative wants to be a part of that. It's the same reason the Obamas are talking about leaving. Like, nobody wants to feel stifled when they are creating. All right, well, they did have one show that they had announced, but that show still hasn't happened, so... <clears throat> Looks like nothing's going to happen there. And then for Joe Rogan, people were saying that he had done a $100 million deal with Spotify. But now the reports are that Spotify actually paid him $200 million. And that was for over three and a half years. So that was for the exclusive streaming rights to the Joe Rogan experience, according to a report by The New York Times that came out on Thursday. Yeah, I read that story in The New York Times, and I didn't understand it because that information was always out there. Like, maybe because I pay attention to stuff like that. But when the deal was first announced, it was that it was like 200 plus uh, opportunity to make more and bonuses. Right. They announced their um, exclusive deal a little under two years ago in May of 2020, but they did not reveal the value of the content. And then Joe Rogan released his first show on that streaming service on September September 1st of 2020. And then later on that year, he was exclusive to Spotify. Yeah, I mean, Joe Rogan as a podcast is is an anomaly, though. Like, it's literally the biggest podcast in the world, audio and video-wise. When it was on YouTube, it was, you know, popping, so... You know, Spotify Spotify paid for his audio and video. Now, as far as Spotify making money, uh, they said podcast advertising accounts for 13% of their total revenue of 2021. And they had lost money for years. They finally became profitable for the first time in history in 2019. But then the next year, it lost the equivalent of about $2.2 million every day. So those are just some numbers. For you. All right, now Michael Rubin's fanatics and Jay Z and uh, Lil Baby, Meek Mill, Maverick Carter, and several other people have now purchased Mitchell and Ness. Mm. That's dope. Mm -hmm. So they're saying that it's an iconic brand with a limitless future. According to Michael Rubin's statement, he said, I'm incredibly excited for Fanatics to partner with this incredible group of innovative owners to build upon the company's already strong business that has kept the brand culturally relevant for more than 100 years. How much did they pay for it? $250 million. Now, I do seems low, don't it? For Mitchell uh, and Ness? I don't know if they bought it outright or for a percentage of it, but I would say this. I I do pray that they... uh, you know, there's a lot of people that really connected Mitchell and Ness with the industry, with the athletes. And one of the gentlemen's name was Ruben. He was the one that that he had the marketing genius to take it just outside of the old, you know, jerseys and just the old things that they used to do and actually give it to artists, give it to Wale, give it to Fabulous, give it to uh, athletes, your Jordans, your Iversons and your Shaqs and give the jerseys to them so they can wear. And that's what really brought the company back. And I hope that they take care of that gentleman. I know he has a... a I think a restaurant out in Philly or a food truck out in, in Philly, Ruben. So they should take care of Ruben. Well, it, their brand was acquired from Juggernaut Capital Partners, and 75% of ownership is going to Fanatics. The 25% is for the other involved parties. Oh, can I get a better deal on my hats now? Mitchell and Ness does the Black Effect hats. You know, salute my guy Trent over there. So can I get a better deal on the hats? Well, Mitchell and Ness is still going to operate as a separate entity within oh, Fanatics. Okay. So I guess that whoever you no deal with. Me. And mm-hmm. J. Cole has done a Dreamer, NBA, Mitchell and Ness, authentic throwback jerseys collection too by the way so that's available also right now it's uh the dreamers takes on the designs of 16 different nba team jerseys so the brand's logo replaces the name of the teams but has the same style and color combinations of like the chicago bulls the phoenix suns the lakers boston celtics so on and so forth i rock with mitchell and ness salute to mitchell and ness like i said they make the uh the black effect hats and actually those jerseys drop today at noon Mm. uh, if you want to get those and salute to my guy emory too he actually put that play together Vegas, right. Vegas Jones. Drop on the clues bombs for Vegas Jones one time, man. Not sure if you guys saw this, but Matthew Stafford and his wife Kelly and the Los Angeles Rams are covering the medical expenses. And that is for a photographer. She actually suffered an injury. She fell off the stage during the rally portion of the Super Bowl victory festivities that happened on Wednesday. Uh, Kelly Smiley is her name. She's a photo editor for the NFL, NHL, and NBA. She was stepping backwards to take a picture of Matthew Stafford and his wife, and she fell off the stage. If you saw the video of this, he just walked away when it happened, and then we don't know if he walked back over there 
But people were upset that Matthew Stafford didn't try to help or anything. And the Staffords have since released a statement. They said they will take care of all of her hospital bills. They said, we've been in communication with Kelly Smiley <laughs> since yesterday's incident, and we are sorry for what happened. As we told Kelly, we will be covering all her hospital bills and replacing her cameras. We wish her a speedy recovery. And there was also a GoFundMe. And they said uh, they were asking for $30,000 to help get her back on her feet. Those donations are now over $45,000. But she did fracture her spine. Let me ask you a question. I saw some of that video, right? Mm-hmm. There was a lot of people around. Why did people only get upset with Matthew Stafford? Because he didn't help. I don't know. Maybe because in the mm-hmm. video he was, she was taking the picture. I don't know. That, that makes zero and sense And we also don't know what happened after the camera stopped rolling because it cuts away after that. So we don't know if he walked back over. I, I saw a video yesterday of a man pretending to be blind. And he fell. And the two black people ran away from him because <laughs> they didn't watch well, no video. Yeah, well, he yeah. did that flip. Or whatever. Yeah. No, they, no, they thought he was falling. Yeah, they though. thought he was falling. So, so they ran away, too. So, I mean, what do you expect somebody like Matthew Stafford to do in that situation? It was a lot of people around. Like, I don't get it. Like, we, we'd be so obsessed with celebrity. And it's like, this celebrity didn't help me. It was mad people around. A lot of people didn't help. I agree. Well, we don't know if anybody did help. I'm sure somebody did. Yeah. But why is why, why is Matthew Stafford getting the blame for this, by the way? All right. Well, that is your that rumor did, did report. makes zero sense to me. All right. Well, when we come back, we got front page news. What are we talking about, Yeezy? Well, let's talk about Charlemagne's Cowboys. They actually had to pay $2.4 million, and we'll tell you why. They need to be paying me. That's what All the right. Cowboys need to be doing. Okay? We'll get into that My next. It's the Breakfast suffering. Club. Good right. morning. We'll be right back. 